Hey folks, welcome back. It's been a beautiful day here, folks. It has been in the 80s and it's been sunny and the breeze is a little bit cooler than the, the air temperature. So it, it's just been a beautiful day to get things done. And I got things done and the mosquitoes are out, folks. So I start my both jobs at 3.30 in the morning. And it's a bit of a travel. So I get up at 1, right? So even on my days off, I get up at 1 o'clock. So I was out doing my chores after my coffee was consumed with a headlamp and by daybreak I was pressure canning green beans folks I got them all done all done a few canners full but that's all right so that was awfully nice to get them out of the way now I took inventory of my beans that are growing on the pole bean trellis right that turned out to be bush beans I took inventory of those this afternoon and I think uh, I think I'll pull those plants and I did some research and because the green bean family is in the nightshade the green beans are in the nightshade family uh, it says that I should not feed them to my birds so they'll go right beside me in the compost pile that works too right so I didn't pick any cucumbers today probably tomorrow. Got to hike up my pants, folks. Good grief. The, uh, I wear big and baggy here, right? Just big and baggy. And usually, because I don't like belts at all, and I don't like my shirts tucked in. So what I usually do is redneck style it and take a piece of bale and twine and loop it through my belt loops and tie a ball when Life is good the rest of the day, right? Until you have to go pee. So, anyway. So I got the green beans done. I went in. I've got an awful broody Muscovy duck. And she's just inside the door is where she chose to, to lay her eggs and sit on a nest. So when I go into the, the guinea coop, through the door she tackles my pant legs folks today she got me pretty good she didn't get me personally but she got my jeans and I can tell you right now she weren't gonna let go of my pant leg whatsoever so I had to go check on the baby so I went through I have a brood of pen that divides the the guinea coop part of the guinea coop so I opened the door to that and she weren't gonna let go folks she followed me right in Right in the brood of pen, she saw that baby duck, and, or the baby ducks, and she thought uh, she didn't want to come back out. So she forgot all about my pant leg at that point. So I finally got her out to go lay on her own, her own eggs, right? But she's, she's just a mean one, folks. She is, she is a mean one. Now, I did get a chance to see twice today, folks, that bird... A couple of videos ago at the very beginning of the video where I asked if you any of you knew what that bird sound was that bird call was and well I finally saw the bird twice today and it is a duck folks it's a brown duck about the size of a wild mallard so last year when I free ranged all my birds I had wild mallards mating with my Muscovies my Muscovies mating with wild mallards and it was just a mess out there and I had a a duck wharf out there with a little with a little duck house out there floating in the center of the the open spot out there and the female ducks would lay their eggs in there and there was some mallard eggs in there too so I'm wondering I'm wondering folks I've got a real small Muscovy female here she is white and brown she's she's very 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 shy she's half the size of all the others I used to call her the runt so she's uh, very skittish 
and she hangs back away from the other ducks. So I'm wondering if if one of my female Muscovies maybe mated and hatched a uh, hybrid between a Muscovy and a wild mallet. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. So that that duck that I saw that sounds like a um, a broody Muscovy duck it is definitely a duck the size of a mallard, and it's it's going in, and it flies it flies like a Muscovy female, and it's going in the pucker brush on the other side of my driveway, across the camp road, and into that real thick, thick, thick stuff. So in a few days, I'm going to see if I can see that mama duck see if she has any babies that she hatched but i'm not sure how that works uh if you cross a wild mallard with a muscovy that's a hybrid right so i don't i think they'll hatch but i i think i don't think that uh that line will continue i'm not sure i'm not sure maybe maybe you all know maybe you can tell me so mystery solved question mark not sure. So it's been a productive day. I've got some jalapenos that I've got to pick. I cut all my kale back and I threw them in the air bag mesh dehydrator hanging inside the, the woodshed. So they're all drying. They're all full. All six trays are full. So that'll be a few days, right? And I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Today is the equivalent to my Saturday. Tomorrow is going to be productive, but I got to go to bed early because the whole one o'clock thing, right? So tomorrow will be a partial day. My hops are starting to blossom out. I'll, I'll put a picture what they look like when they start blossoming. My achocha uh, should have achocha pods forming at any time now. And everything is good. I've got a cabbage that's ready to pick. And I've got all kinds of green tomatoes on. I've got all kinds of cucumbers on. I've got all kinds of squash on. Time to replant some of my greens. And I'll pull those beans up and plant some more. And I think what I will do is I will try to dehydrate some in the, the mesh dehydrator. I'll uh, probably I'll do what I'll do is I'll blanch them three minutes or so, three, three and a half, four minutes and like you do carrots and cool them off and throw them in the mesh dehydrator and let them do their thing, right? The garlic's all hanging up, drying in the woodshed and Everything is good. Everything is good except for the mosquitoes. So I think I'm going to go in, take my shoes off, put my jammies on, wash up, put my feet up, and call it a day. It's been a productive day. It's been a busy day. And tomorrow I'll have to rest a little bit more to get ready for my, my, uh, my work week, right? So you all have a good day. Hope everybody's doing well. And if you're new to this channel, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, it's not going to it's not going to cost you anything to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon, right? That'll notify you when I post a video. And y'all come back. I don't know if I told you anything. There's been a lot of comments that uh, some of you learn something every time you come watch my channel. Well, that's always good, right? I don't know what you would have learned from this one. I've just given you a little bit of update. So thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for any comments. Thank you for any likes. Thank you for any shares. And Remember, 
life is as good as you make it, right? Hang in there, folks. I think we're in for a bumpy ride, but I think we're going to get through it. And uh, we'll learn a lot, and we'll learn together, going through it together, right? And we'll come out on the other end. Thank you.